a warm good morning to all of you so discrete mathematics subject and unit 4 topics so today's topic being discussed are groups uh, one or two problems related to that with respect to addition module and multiplication module so as mentioned here addition modulo m is represented like this plus and uh, subscript m or like this plus in a circle subscript m or plus mod usually in an expression it is written like this a plus m b here we know that a and b are two elements and m is the modulo okay so suppose this is plus in the bracket subscript m it is represented for addition modulo m and how do i calculate addition modulo m okay by calculating the remainder of addition of a and b and divided by m as simple as that so say for example this is addition modulo 4 for 5 and 5 two elements so 5 and 5 are 10 10 divided by 4, 4 to the 8, the remainder will be 2. So similarly, this is addition modulo 3 for 7 and 7 as first and second elements. So add those two elements, 14 divided by 3, 3 4 are 12, remainder is 2. Similarly, multiplication modulo p. Okay. So same case here. this is multiplication modulo for the elements a and b calculate the remainder as usual so this is multiplication modulo 5 for the elements 3 and 4 so i am multiplying 3 and 4 3 4 are 12 divided by 5 5 2 are 10 so the remainder is 2 multiplication modulo 4 5 for the two elements 5 and 4 5 4 are 20 20 divided by 5 So five four are twenty. Remainder is zero. So this is how we calculate multiplication modulo and addition modulo. So uh, let us uh, take one or two problems related to addition modulo and multiplication modulo with respect to our fourth unit, which comprises of algebraic structures. semi groups groups monoid homomorphism group codes and their applications so this is one problem wherein we are giving a set called as g and the elements in the set are 0 1 2 3 4 5 you have to prove that it is a group with respect to what addition modulo 6 let us not forget what is addition modulo 6 so addition modulo 6 is let us say this is first element 5 second element 5 and we are performing addition and this is addition modulo 6 So 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 divided by 6 is remainder 4. So you are calculating the remainder. You are calculating the remainder uh, by dividing uh, the addition with 6 because this is addition modulo 6. Now for the element 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have to prove that it's a group. So we'll use our composition table or Cayley table. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as column headers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as uh, row headers. now addition modulo 6 will be performing so 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 2 2 0 plus 3 3 0 plus 4 4 0 plus 5 5 okay so let us carefully listen to the next element uh, addition 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 1 plus 4 is 4 1 plus 5 is sorry 1 plus 4 is 5 1 plus 5 Five is six, okay. So six add, uh, addition is performed. Re resultant is six. 
divide 6 by um, uh, 6. So, 6 divided by 6, 6 1 is 6, remainder is 0. Similarly, 2 plus 0, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 2 plus 2, 4, 2 plus 3, 5, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 divided by 6, remainder is 0, 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 divided by 6, remainder is 1. Same thing happens. 3 plus 0, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 3 plus 2, 5, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 divided by 6, remainder is 0, 3 plus 4 is 7, remainder is 1, 3 plus uh, 5 is 7, remainder is 2. Same thing happened with 4th and 5th rows. So, once we have done that, uh, we need to check the first condition whether it is an algebraic structure. For algebraic structure, closure property has to be retained. So, you can see that the elements in the set are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The binary operation being performed is plus. After performing the binary operation, in this composition table, you will see the elements only from 0 to 5, none of the elements and they are also unique, they are not repeated in any row or any column. So, closure is maintained. Second is uh, semi group, for semi groups you have to check associative property and for associative property you just perform the associative operation on this uh, 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 elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements and verify it because Kelly table will not support it, but associative is fine to be true. So, it is a semi group. For monoid, you need to find the identity. For identity, you need to find the matching rows. So, matching rows are row 1, sorry, matching rows are row 1 and row 2 and the extreme element is 0. So, this is the identity element. Similarly, matching columns are, which are the matching columns? Let me check. Any matching columns? These were the matching rows, and these are the matching columns. So same thing here the first column and the second column, which I named as 0th and first column. So, same thing if these are the matching columns find the extreme element that is 0. So, the identity element is 0. So, it is proved that it is a monoid. For group, we have to identify the inverse. For inverse, we have to identify the look at the identity elements and check their top extreme elements. So, this is my identity element 1. So, zeros inverse is 1. This is my identity element. So, 1's inverse is 0. This is my identity element. 2's inverse is 5. This is my identity element. So, 3's inverse is 4. This is my identity element. 4's inverse is 3. This is my identity element. 5's inverse is 2. So, I have written those inverses. So, hence it is proved that it is a group. Now, let us go for a multiplication modulo problem. So, the number of elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have to prove that it is a group with respect to multiplication modulo 7. Let us not forget what is multiplication modulo 7. A and B are two elements. So, multiplication modulo is 7. So, multiply A with B and then divide by 7 and find the remainder. So, say for example, 5 and 5 are these are the two elements and the modulo multiplication modulo is 7. So, 5 5 is 25. So, 25 divided by 7. So, uh, 7 3 is 21, remainder is 4. Same thing here, draw the carries table uh, with the column headers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and row headers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Perform the uh, modulo 7 operation. So, 1 plus 1, Uh, 
let me just confirm here what I did. Actually, 1 plus 1 should be 2, 1 plus 2 should be 3, like that this operation should have been performed. But you just remember that uh, you have to perform 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 1 plus 3, flow, 1 plus 4, 5, 1 plus 5, 6, and 1 plus 6, 7, 1 it becomes 1 plus 6, 7, uh, it has to be uh, 1 only, so like this. Uh, once you perform the uh, modulo multiplication, same thing here, you have to check the closure, the associativity, identity, inverse operation and uh, for abelian group you have to check, uh, uh, draw the diagonal, after drawing the dog diagonal, you have to look at the symmetry of the non-diagonal uh, elements. So, this was a small example of addition modulo and multiplication model. Thank you.